Hey, I'm TJ with ShopBot Tools, and now we're going to show you how to properly install a router bit. So, first things first, if you have a spindle set up, you are going to want to make sure you turn the VFD to the off position. Alright, next we will be changing a bit on a ShopBot desktop with a spindle. So, first thing is remove the magnetic dust shield and expose the threads on the spindle. Remember, a spindle uses a spring collet. So this one actually comes apart, unlike a porter cable, which is one piece. You actually have your collet nut and your spring collet. And we call it a spring collet because it springs and clips into the collet nut. So if this should hold in there like this. So every time you change a bit, you will want to spring them apart, knock or blow any of the sawdust out that's in them before you spring them back together. This is where you'll now take this and push it onto the, screw it onto the male threads of the spindle. If it's not going on there easily, back it back off and check the threads for debris. This should be an easy on and off operation. Also for this, you want to make sure that you take the shaft of the router bit and make sure it's fully pushed into the collet nut and we'll get into that in future videos. So with this I'll take and get it started onto the spindle. I'll take my router bit, stick it inside of the shaft, snug it by hand, and this is where on a spindle you'll use two route wrenches. One of them goes onto the spindle shaft, and the other one goes down here to the collet nut. And here is where we will push them apart tightens them and then give it just a little bit of extra strength to snug that into place. You don't need to overkill the tightening of this. The spring of that collet will actually hold that in place.